Hello everyone, today I have another endgame study for you. It's disposition and white to play. The first question is, is white actually playing for a win or is white playing for a draw? So um, this pawn can't move, this pawn can't move, the king can't move, so white is actually forced to promote. But he has an option um, between four pieces that he can choose. And um, first things first, let's try the obvious move. Let's try to promote to a queen. Um, the idea of black is obviously to give checkmate to the white king. So he's going to put his bishop on f4. And now he's um, essentially threatening just to move the king away. And um, then it's either going to be checkmate or black white has to blockade with the queen. And he will be in a losing pawn end game. So just to give you a sample line, if you just give a check. Then it's king um, f3, you have to block, and you get checkmated. Yeah? And um, if you try to attack the bishop, it's the same. Here you have to sacrifice the queen for the bishop. White gets a move. Now white can move the king to d2. But um, black is now just going to pick up the other pawn, make a queen, and win. So um, this doesn't work. And if you go to d2, once again. Black plays king to f3, and now you're in a pin. But you have a move. It's not stalemate. You have a move. You can take on f4, and this is winning. So um, if you can't make a queen, the next option that you might want to consider is what about making a knight? Because with the knight, I can maybe go to um, e6 and control the f4 square of the bishop. And um, bishop f4 in this position is winning for black. White can play knight to e6, and you might want to go to h6, and you still have um, some mating ideas, and you're going to win this with black, but it's much simpler in this position to give mate in two. So you can play bishop to b4, and bishop to d2 is mate on the next move, and there is no defense against it. Okay, queen doesn't work, and knight doesn't work. What if white takes a bishop. If you take a bishop, here um, black can play a little bit more primitive. He can just take the pawn on h2. And yeah, the idea is very simple. Just go back with the bishop and advance the pawn. White can um, try to use a trick. He can try to play bishop to c7. And now you can't take the bishop because it would be a stalemate. But um, you don't have to take the bishop, of course. You can go away, and here you are technically winning. White maybe give a check here, and like such position is winning for black, because he's going to promote. But the fastest way to win would be to play this move. So here you're immediately forcing the exchange of bishops. Um, but on a square where you go away from the white king so that you give him the d2 square and it's not stalemate. So this is then just a very simple win. Um, so we tried three options and we are only left with promoting to a rook. It's the last chance that we have. So what happens if black plays bishop to f4 here and you play the rook back to d2? So you're trying to blockade this with a rook. And if now the black king moves either to f3 or to e4, in both cases, the rook is pinned to the bishop. You don't have a move. And it's stalemate. So here you can save half a point. And yeah, you can say, okay, these two king moves, they are not forced. Black has other options. Black can, for example, wait and go to g5. And now he's hoping that um, white will move the rook, and then you will give checkmate. But white can play rook to d5, attacking the bishop. So now you don't have time for any king moves, because, um, yeah, then white takes the bishop. And if the king goes to f4, now you can just go back. And another idea is maybe bishop to h6. But now we continue our procedure and we play rook d6, attacking the bishop. And yeah, what else can black try? 
he might want to say, okay, the bishop on this diagonal was very threatening in the other lines, but here um, it's just leading to stalemate. So let me move the bishop away from this diagonal. Let's go to e5. And now again, white has only one move. And we have to play rook to d3, giving a check. And here um, black is kind of forced to take the rook, because if he goes here, you can take on um, b3 and uh, you're out of danger. King g2 can be played, but then you take this pawn and you can also just sacrifice the rook for the pawn. Um, yeah, and if you take the rook, once again, it's stalemate. So that's the solution of the exercise. You have to promote to a rook and find this idea of rook d2 to get stalemated. Um, yep, yeah, a small little exercise. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video.